Your Excellency, my friend, Rajpati Soli, Dono delegations ke sadasya, media ke pratidhi, namaskar. Sabse pahle mein apne mitra Rajpati Soli aur unke delegation ka Bharat mein swagat karta hu. पिछले कुछ वर्षों में भारत और मालदीव के मित्रतापूर्ण संबंधों में नया जोश आया है हमारी नजदीकियां बढ़ी है महामारी से पैदा हुई चुनौतियों के बावजूद हमारा सहयोग एक व्यापक भागीदारी का रूप लेता जा रहा है फ्रेंड्स आज राष्ट्रपति सोली के साथ मैंने कई विषयों पर व्यापक चर्चा की हमने हमारे द्विपक्षीय सहयोग के सभी आयामों का आकलन किया और महत्वपूर्ण क्षेत्रीय एवं वैश्विक मुद्दों पर भी विचारों का आदान प्रदान किया अभी कुछ देर पहले हमने ग्रेटर माला कनेक्टिविटी प्रोजेक्ट से शुरुआत का स्वागत किया यह मालदीव का सबसे बड़ा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोजेक्ट होगा हमने आज ग्रेटर माले में 4000 सोशल हाउसिंग यूनिट्स उसके निर्माण के प्रोजेक्ट का रिव्यू भी किया मुझे यह घोषणा करते हुए प्रसन्नता है कि हम इसके अतिरिक्त 2000 सोशल हाउसिंग यूनिट्स के लिए भी फाइनेंशियल सपोर्ट देंगे हमने 100 मिलियन डॉलर की अतिरिक्त लाइन ऑफ क्रेडिट देने का निर्णय भी किया है ताकि सभी प्रोजेक्ट्स समयबद्ध तरीके से पूरे हो सके फ्रेंड्स इंडियन ओशन में ट्रांसनेशनल अपराध आतंकवाद तथा ड्रग्स तस्करी का खतरा गंभीर है और इसलिए रक्षा और सुरक्षा के क्षेत्र में भारत और मालदीव के बीच करीबी संपर्क और समन्वय पूरे क्षेत्र की शांति और स्थिरता के लिए महत्वपूर्ण है इन सभी साझा चुनौतियों के खिलाफ हमने अपना सहयोग बढ़ाया है इसमें मालदीव के सुरक्षा अधिकारियों के लिए कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग और ट्रेनिंग सहयोग भी शामिल है मुझे यह घोषणा करते हुए खुशी है कि भारत मालदीव सुरक्षा बल के लिए 24 वाहन और एक नेवल बोट प्रदान करेगा हम मालदीव के 61 वन आइलैंड्स में पुलिस सुविधाओं के निर्माण में भी सहयोग करेंगे फ्रेंड्स मालदीव सरकार ने 2030 तक कार्बन एमिशन को नेट जीरो करने का लक्ष्य रखा है मैं इस कमिटमेंट के लिए राष्ट्रपति सोहली को बधाई देता हूं और ये आश्वासन भी देता हूं कि इस लक्ष्य की प्राप्ति के लिए भारत मालदीव को हर संभव सहयोग देगा भारत ने अंतर्राष्ट्रीय स्तर पर वन वर्ल्ड वन सन वन ग्रीड इसकी पहल उठाई है और इसके तहत हम मालदीव के साथ प्रभावी कदम ले सकते हैं फ्रेंड्स आज भारत मालदीव पार्टनरशिप न सिर्फ दोनों देशों के नागरिकों के हित में काम कर रही है बल्कि क्षेत्र के लिए भी शांति स्थिरता और समृद्धि का स्रोत बन रही है मालदीव की किसी भी जरूरत या संकट में भारत फर्स्ट रिस्पॉन्डर रहा है और आगे भी रहेगा मैं राष्ट्रपति सोली और उनके डेलीगेशन की सुखद भारत यात्रा की कामना करता हूं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू सर मे आई नाउ रिक्वेस्ट हिज एक्सलेंसी मिस्टर इब्राहिम मोहम्मद सोली प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द रिपब्लिक ऑफ मालदीव टू मेक हिज प्रेस स्टेटमेंट एक्सलेंसी द फ्लोर इज योर्स Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Ladies and gentlemen members of the media 
Good afternoon. It is an absolute pleasure to be here again. I would like to thank you, Excellency Prime Minister Modi, the government and the people of India for the warm hospitality extended to me and my delegation during this visit. Maldives India relationship goes beyond diplomacy. Our values, our histories, and our cultures are intertwined, making it a traditional relationship. Our centuries old relationship has grown with political trust, economic cooperation, and coherent strategic policies between our two countries. We see this visit as an affirmation of the close bond that has, that has grown between us. Our relationship has been nurtured and strengthened by regular contact. I hope that we can strengthen the ties we have with your Excellency and your country. The COVID-19 pandemic has not been kind on anyone. Like many other nations, we were also forced to flee close our borders for months. The result left both our economy and people in distress. Was it not for the generous assistance received in the form of budgetary support, medical assistance and supplies, and the Covishield vaccine donated by the government of India, our economic recovery would have been hard and long. The air travel bubble arrangement enabled the flow of economic activity. The undistributed supplies of essential medicines and commodities to the Maldives is evident to the strong bond we share. My government took office with an ambitious development vision. We appreciate India's support and generosity towards realizing this vision and fulfilling our development objectives. During this visit, the Prime Minister and I took stock of the progress made since we last met and discussed ways in which we can further expand and strengthen our relationship. The groundbreaking pouring of the first concrete ceremony of the Greater Male Connectivity Project and the construction of 4,000 social housing units that we witness today stand as testimony to the strong partnership. This moment is made even more auspicious with the approval of the Exim Bank of India buyer's credit funding of US dollar 119 million for construction of another 2,000 social housing units in Greater Male region. I thank the government of India for this facilitation. I would like to thank the government of India for facilitating the additional US dollar 100 million for the US dollar 800 million line of credit through the Exim Bank of India, which I am confident will be an added impetus to, the, to ensure the timely completion of important development projects, including the Cancer Hospital in Lamo et al. Gan and the Hanimado Airport expansion project. We recognize and thank the government of India for the continued support to develop infrastructure and expansion of our human resource development. We are pleased to add more agreements in various fields that will contribute to the development agenda today. The MOU signed today on cybersecurity aims to promote closer cooperation and the exchange of information 
pertaining to cyber security in accordance with the relevant domestic laws, rules, and regulations, and based on equality, reciprocity, and mutual benefit. Investing in skill development is a high priority for my government. Today, we sign important MOUs that will help enhance our human resources and development. The MOU signed between local government authority, Maldives, and the National Institute of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj, India, on capacity building and training will build the capacity of members of local councils, women's development committee, and the staff of local government authority. The MOU signed between the National Disaster Management Authority of the Republic of Maldives and the National Disaster Management Authority of the Republic of India aims to enhance and promote the cooperation in the field of emergency management between our two countries. The credit line MOU signed between the Ministry of Finance of the Republic of Maldives and the Export-Import Bank of India to develop policy infrastructure of the Maldives will contribute towards enhancing cooperation between the police service and the public through neighborhood policy and ensure the social well-being and safety of our communities. The MOU signed between Ministry of Fisheries, Marine Resources and Agriculture of the Republic of Maldives and Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services and the Ministry of Earth Science Government of India will enable cooperation in potential fishing zone focused capacity. In light of the harsh lessons taught by COVID-19, the Prime Minister and I acknowledged that achieving economic resilience is exceptionally important to withstand the shock of unforeseen events. I urge investors from India to seize this opportunity as we work on building back better, to forge meaningful and mutually beneficial partnerships with the Maldives. As such, in collaboration with the Confederation of Indian Industry, we will be organizing two interactive business-to-business -business events in Delhi and Mumbai today and tomorrow, bringing together selected prominent representatives of leading cooperation from the Maldives and India. We welcome the operationalization of Rupee card in the Maldives and agreed to consider further measures to boost bilateral travel and tourism and economic interlinkages, which could lead to mutual benefit of both countries. In addition to bilateral matters relating to education, youth and sports, defense and security, fisheries, tourism, health and IT, the Prime Minister and I also discussed international issues of mutual concern. I congratulate Prime Minister Modi for his initiative and leadership of the Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure, International Solar Alliance, and India's pledge to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2070. We firmly believe climate action could only be achieved by international cooperation. Prime Minister and I discussed the issue of terrorism. We both reiterated a firm commitment to the work against terrorism in all its forms and manifestations and strengthened cooperation to enhance maritime safety and security in the Indian Ocean region. I would like to express my thanks and appreciation to Your Excellency and the Government of India for the announcements made today to gift a second landing assault craft 
and the replacement ship of the CGS Huravi that was gifted from the government of India to the Maldives National Defense Force. I would also like to express my thanks for the announcement made today to give 24 utility vehicles from the government of India to the Maldives National Defense Force. My government, since assuming office, has been fully committed to giving new heights to the relations between our two countries. Our relationship with India will always be of the highest priority. Mr. Prime Minister, along with my visit to India in 2018 and your visit in 2019, and the recent exchanges of high-level visit, visits have brought a renewed sense of dynamism to our relations. Mr. Prime Minister, I thank you for the very personal commitment you have shown in being a friend and partner to the Maldives. I wish Your Excellency and the people of India peace, progress and prosperity. The Maldives will always remain a true friend of India, firmly committed to our shared vision of peace and development in our countries and our region. Thank you.